So here we have written what are the various percentages for all the numbers or all the fractions starting from 1 by 2 up till 1 by 20. And ye aapko achhi tarah se memorize karne hai. If you want to write it down, you write it down. You use your calculator or you calculate it. Actually, you do anything that you want, but these should be in your head. Okay, now let us proceed and let us try to solve certain kind of questions. Now, kaise questions aapko milenge aapke exams mein karne ke liye? Say, suppose you are given a question of this kind. They find 40.28 percentage of 560. This is what we If we calculate it in the normal manner, we will be writing 40.28 into 560 or 1428 by 100 into 560 and then cancelling it and then whatever doing calculation, etc. etc. Okay. But this is not how you need to find it out. You need to find it out. We know that 14.28 percentage. It means that it is 1 by 7 of 560. So you get 80 as the answer. That is the reason why we need to memorize all the percentages and all the fractions corresponding to those percentages. Let us take another example. Okay. And uh, that example will be, say for example, in an examination, okay. So in an exam, 36 percentage passing marks are, passing marks are 36 percent. A person in the exam gets 17 as the marks, okay. And that person fails by 10 marks. So he is short of 10 marks. We have to find out what is the maximum marks in the test. Okay. Now let us see how we do that. A person has got 17 marks. So 17 what we got, he fails by 10 marks. So the passing marks are actually equal to 27. 27 being the passing marks, 27 is equal to 36 percent. So, 36 percent is equal to 27. What is 100 percent? Okay, what is this? So 75 percent marks are the actual marks or the maximum marks which the person should have received but that person got lesser than that and that's why he failed. Probably he didn't study percentages back then. Okay, let us take another example. we have to find 8% of 325. Okay. How do we solve it? Now 8% finding 8% would mean 8 by 100 into 325 and then following whatever process is there. The other method to look at is that whenever any number is closer to whenever any number is closer to numbers like 10, 5, 100, 50, etc. In that case, or any multiple of these, so these or multiples of these, in that case, try to arrive at an aggregate or an approximate number which you can get. 8% of 325 is actually meaning that we have to do 10 minus 2% of 325. 10% of 325 is 32.5 and 2% of that. Now 10% is 32.5. One percent is 3.25. So 2% is 6.5. Okay. 8 is 10 minus 2 which is this minus this. So it is 0 and it is 26.2. 
So 8% of 325 will be 26. This is how easily you can find it. How we were able to do it? Because it is a number which is closer to 10. Agar Malo, you would have to calculate, say so 12%. It again becomes easy because it is now, it becomes now 10 plus 2 percent of 325, 10% we know is 32.5, 2% we know is 6.5, so it becomes 39. Isn't it a lot quicker than finding it the other way? Agar aap actually mein percentages ne kaalo ye, to what time lagi hai? So just use your presence of mind. Think how you can convert that into a nearby tens digit or a ten kind of a number and then find it out. So this was what we have got for percentages. You need to remember the fractions, the corresponding percentages and you must use your common sense to arrive at the solution. Okay. We need to be quick. So speed has to be there. So try to see if there is any shortcut which you can use to arrive at the percentage or the solution. Solve the questions which we have given on our website and we will take it from there. Thank you and take care.